so CCN is security day two. CCN is security day two. So today we are going to discuss types of password because in CCN RNS we discuss what is password, what is username, Cisco password, Cisco means we are authenticating the person. So in CCN security we are going to discuss how many types of password a Cisco IOS supports. Now there are three types, three types of passwords. The first type is zero, type zero, or we can say plain text. Plain text. Suppose if I give you the example that if I'm saying user name Cisco password Cisco. This is plain text password. This is a plain text password we can easily read. The password that we can easily read are the plain text password. So this is a plain text password. So, in, so the second is type 5. These are MD5 hash based password. MD5 hash based password. So they are going to use MD5 algorithm. MD5 algorithm to generate a hash. To generate a hash. It is an irreversible algorithm. So suppose the password is Cisco. Then we are going to run the MD5 algorithm and we will get some hash value, something like this ABC dollar dollar something. Then a string of password A X Y Z 1 2 3 something like this. This value is called salt value and this value is called string. The value between two dollar signs is called salt value. And this is string value. So you cannot drive when you see this password, you cannot drive the original Cisco password. This is irreversible. Irreversible algorithm. So if you get a hash, you cannot drive the it's like this. This you have a piece of paper. Oops, sorry. If you have a piece of paper like this, something something is written on it. Okay. Then you burn it. You are burning it and it will become burned. and it will become carbon. Something small ashes. Small small pieces. So you cannot drive the whole again. It is irreversible. So you cannot perform this. That by using the carbon you can create the whole new page. So this is irreversible. Same like MD5 password and the type 3 is sorry the third part is type 7 password type 7 they are going to use some different algorithm that is called Cisco algo we can say the algorithm is V I G E N E R E Wagner algorithm it is reversible It is a reversible algorithm. This means if you have the value, suppose it will convert your password Cisco into some this is type 7 into some numbers, random numbers like 0, 1, A, B, C, D, then you can use this and decrypt this password to again Cisco. It is reversible. Reverse. It is a reverse process. So let's discuss one by one what are the passwords that we have learned. We learned three types, three passwords, three password types. Okay. Type 0, type 5, type 7. This is by Cisco, this is by MD5 and this is universal.
So we have these algorithms. So let's discuss one by and we can easily crack. Easily crack. Huh? We can easily crack this algorithm. Now the thing is, let's discuss how to crack this algorithm. And let's discuss how to use this, how to use this and how to use this. So we are going to take three routers or we can say two routers. Okay, two routers are more than enough. So what we will going to take, we are going to take two routers, R1 and R2. So let's go to GNS. This is my two routers, R1 and R2. So we are going to configure all the types of password that So R1. So let's discuss type 1. So username, Cisco, password. So if I put a question mark, I can see 0 and 7. So 0 is an unencrypted password, means plain text. So if I write Cisco, this is type 0. So if I put show, run, I will see 0. Okay, we discuss this thing. So what is the use of this? No, there is no use of this. This is called shoulder attack. So if I, if someone, if I'm typing this password, if I'm checking show running config, someone from behind can view this password. That is Cisco. Okay. Now let's discuss about one service that is disabled by default. The service is service password encryption, and there is a no. So if I put show run, show running config. The service is by default disabled because no is in front of it. If you see any no, this means the service is disabled. Triple A is the service and it is disabled. Domain lookup is there because no is written on it. So domain lookup is there. So no service password. What is the scope of this command? So it will encrypt all the plain text password into type 7 passwords. It will let's go to here and write down this thing that service password encryption it will convert all type 7 sorry type 0 password to type 7 password so this is the scope of this command to convert type 7 into sorry type 0 into type 7 let's see how if i run this command config t service password encryption so as as according to our node that it will convert from type 0 to Type 7. Let's check it. Show run. As we can see, it is converted into type 7. So let's learn how to crack this pass type 7. Okay, we heard about keychain. In the IGRP authentication, we learned something keychain, right? So let's config T. Let's create a keychain. Keychain any name a b c we need to give one key key string i will tell him to use seven and i will copy this password this password i will copy this and paste it that's it and if i put show key show key chain my password is decrypted so this is how to decrypt the type 7 password. Now let's talk about the type 5 password. So that type 5 are oops. Type 5 passwords are MD5 passwords. So let's discuss MD5 based password. So we just need to go to this. And if I put 
enable secret enable secret and if i put hello this secret command is converting this plain text password into type 5 password so if i put show run this is my salt value this is my type 5 password because 5 is written this is my salt value and this is my string so if we have linux server we can try to decrypt it but i don't think so we are we will succeed because it's like 20 or 30 percent chances we can decrypt this password so let's revise the concepts and let's finish this video let type 0 means plain text plain text we can we need to encrypt it so we have two options either use service password encryption or I can use the second command is secret so service password encryption will do not this not this it's here so it will convert from type 0 to type 7 and it is reversible and from type 0 to type 5 this is irreversible no reverse so this is the part of ccna security thank you